Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. As you can see, I'm going to finally make a world anchor. I went out and got some obsidian. So, there we go. Now, this has a loadable area of three chunks by three chunks. And I believe it's F9? Yes. Uh, looks like three by three should be pretty well enough. Uh, I eh, think... I could put it in this room for now. So I'm going to throw two ender pearls in there. Those last 12 hours each. And that should keep a large majority of my base chunk loaded. So it's good that I finally got that out of the way. Now, I want to get something going. I want to eventually make a room for this, but I haven't quite gotten to that point. Uh, oh, that's supposed to be an at symbol. So, I want to start messing with Mistcraft. My frame rate is suddenly in the toilet. There we go. Uh, I don't know why, but for some odd reason, if you have it set so it checks, if that makes any sense. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, that's also unfortunate. There's many unfortunate things going on here, and I'm not happy. Why is there iron in there? Anyhow, I want to get Mistcraft stuff going because, unfortunately, the stuff from Galacticraft doesn't have Retrogen, which unfortunately means that if I wish to acquire Silicon, I am going to need to make new stuff. Or, you know, find new terrain. And the easiest way to get to new terrain is, of course by going to a Mistcraft Age. Uh, do I have any ink? Uh, a little bit. Uh, paper. Do I have any leather? Eh, a little bit. That is probably more leather than I'm going to need, but at least I hope so. Uh, hmm. Guess I'll... S uh, there's not really much room in there. I haven't done anything in this room yet. I have a plan for this room, but I just haven't done anything related to fish. How? Oh, oh, there we go. That was a bit glitchy. Now, I have a Mistcraft page. I only have one singular page that I know of, and as such, it's going to get the glory of being the one that gets thrown in here. Oh, of course I need to make ink files. Let me guess. They require water. Yes, it requires them to be water bottles, but of course. Well, I suppose I'll make... Might as well make two more sets worth. Nothing on the ground? Good, good. Uh, I did do a cool little setup. I just want to show it to you real quick. First of all, let's get my water sigil out. Now, say I'm putting things away into here, right? Like this glass. But say I accidentally click this in. You'll notice... It will always end up back in my inventory. The reasoning for that is, I put another pipe in up here, connected to my primary inventory. And, whoops. As you can see, I put requested items, remote orderer. So, what's going to happen is, because it's not a default route, it's a filtered route, it also has that as its filter, which means my remote orderer will always go back into my inventory if I accidentally click it into the bag. So... That helps keep me from making any major mistakes out in the world. It is the one thing that can never leave my inventory if I accidentally click it through. Which is fine, because it's the one thing that I don't need. Or, well, I need it, but that's not what I mean. Uh, that said, I'm going to need a block. I'm always sitting here in these weird situations where I never have something that I need might have something to do with the fact that I haven't really, you know, thought things through. Okay, so I can do this three times. Oop. There. Okay, so, I put the ink in here, and we're going to make, I'll make two linking books. Pretty sure linking books, yeah. 
unlinked linking book, unlinked linking book. So that gets us going on that. Uh, I'm gonna need paper. Uh, I think this needs ink as well. Well, crap. That means I'm gonna need to get more ink, which means I'm gonna need to kill squids. Hopefully, finding squids shouldn't be a major issue. And I shouldn't be able to drown right now, because... Why are you still on? Because I just turned my sigil on. Uh, I'm up to three, and that's not much. Uh, this is not what I meant to uh, spend time doing on camera, but uh, yeah. Okay, that should be enough. Oops. No. There we go. Okay. So I don't need these squid. So just throw them. Get out of there. I should really do something about this horrible way of handling this, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, so... Uh, do I have to have a notebook? Because that would be unpleasant. Eh, it's not that unpleasant. Easier to make than I thought it was. So, if I put the notebook in here... No? Oh, I right-click it. Okay. So then what I can do is I can put this in the binder here. Now what am I doing wrong? I haven't used Mistcraft in a while, so I wonder if I can just... Okay, I can do that. So that's useful. Uh, one? Is it not going to let me? Does it need to have a certain number of things? What's going on here? Uh, Mistcraft, why are you such a pain now? All I want to do is make an age be done, you know? That's all I want. Is that so much to ask for? Hmm. You win this time, Mistcraft. I'll just put that in there. And that can stay there. Well, that's... Wait. I need a blank page for this, don't I? I believe it was changed. This is a link panel. But... No? Okay. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna get myself a book stand. Actually, two of them. Now, I should probably set these linking books up to somewhere. Uh, set them both here, I suppose. Oh. Right-click. No? I'm being dumb again. I'm doing something wrong. There we go. Okay. Set both of these to the overworld. Now, I don't think it's really going to matter, because I expect this world to be extremely unstable. So, that said, let's make myself immune to fire effects. 
just as a precaution, of course. And uh, let's hope that there's nothing life-threatening in here. Uh, oh, wow. That is one crazy-looking bio. World should just be in the process of generating. That's why I have no inventory at the moment. World generation is a bit slow in this mod pack. Although, I must admit, this is a far bit slower than I expected. And if I give it a minute. Uh, hello? Did, did it crash? Like, what's going on here? This is very strange. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, 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 that's the Galacticraft map. Wow, that is a lot of tainted land. Uh, you know what? Screw it. As I said, I expect this world to be tainted. So... I'm not going to bother with that. Uh -uh. Never hurts to check and see. What? 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 What kind of monstrosity is this? What sorcery is at work in this... In this world? Oop. I'm going to end up somewhere strange, because I just basically jumped out of a hole. Hmm... Ah, uh, see? Strange. I told you. Hmm. Now, the goal here, of course, is to try and find some of the Mistcraft buildings. If that makes any sense. Uh... Although it would help the world wasn't loading so slowly. If you remember, I did a very similar thing in my 147 series. Although with not quite as much world generation lag. There's not really anything I can do to help that. Whoa. Hmm... What is this nonsense? Oh, it's a silverwood tree. And an essence pool. Whoa! Uh, I put myself into a predicament. See this map? That map is the map from this. I'll disable... I'll change... Yeah. I could stay like that. I'm fine with this. So, that right there, the thing that doesn't look like it's loaded, what kind of tree? Oh, it's a witchwood tree. I didn't realize it at first glance. So, there's a building right here. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm after. Whoops. Ravines, okay. Jade Cliffs biome. Tainted Land biome. Sky. Normal sun. Tropical rainforest. Hell. Hmm. I'm probably going to end up needing to do a lot of exploring through these trying to find these buildings, which isn't working very well, considering how... I seriously blame better dungeons and underground biomes for this, but unfortunately, disabling either one at this point 
will cause weird things to happen with the world. Especially underground biomes, because if I remove it, massive, massive world holes. Like, you have no idea how big of a world hole I'm talking about. And, well, first of all, pretty much every bit of rock and stone around my base would be gone. Completely gone. There'd be nothing but open air. Which is not a pleasant thing. What type of... It was in the tainted land biome, huh? Ooh. What was that? It looks stonish. Perhaps not. Uh. What is that? Weird. How very strange. That's the cool thing about Mistcraft Ages is whenever you just randomly generate one, the possible results you can get are just ridiculous. Curious as to what Oh, okay, I see. I apologize for the very lag-filled episode. And... I don't really do anything interesting at this point. Okay. Uh, my digital miner is back in my base. Let's see if I can't... locate where I started. I believe it was somewhere in here? I mean, not that it matters too terrible much. Are these? These are the ones I'm after. I wanted to find some of these trees. And this has handed it right to me. It's awesome. Oh, oh, as you can tell, I'm very used to this being the button. Eh. Still, this leaves me curious about where I started. And with the world loading so slowly, finding that might be near impossible. See, it'll be made out of stone, so you'd expect it would show up as gray on here, but unfortunately there's a lot of other gray things loading as well. Well, that is a slight bit of an issue. Mm. I'm going to have to leave a linking book here regardless. So, what I can do... I'll just... Random number. The linking book here. Jump out. The world seems stable. I don't know if instability is disabled in Resident Rise. It's something I could look into at some point. Uh, however, I am going to need to make another notebook at some point. But what I can do is I can take these, throw them in the notebook, and then I can easily look through here at any point. And I've got... I have got some bluebells, which I didn't mean for, but... I'll take it. And put the water sigil back, glass bottles. So what I'm gonna going to do, gonna is probably not a good way of saying it. Uh, I'm actually going to make another anchor, like so. I'm going to acquire two more ender pearls, and that should be good to go. Uh, hmm. How do I want to go about this? What am I doing with my transceivers? That's the question. 
I believe... Oh, they're both in here. Okay. So what I can do... I don't have a power hook up in here. That, that could be a problem. Well... Hmm... 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 If there's one in the ceiling somewhere. Oh no, I'd probably have to run line for that. And my best option would actually be in the floor. Eh, I'm not gonna fight with that at the moment. I'll just put this here. I'll set it. Oh, this one's already set to receive items. That's fortunate. Uh, I'll leave you how you are. Break you. And we will venture back to the Mistcraft Age. The question is, how far away? Wow, I was close. Set it up over here for convenience sake. So, Galactcraft adds ore silicon. Okay. Uh, I don't really need osmium in there anymore. You know what? I don't... I I'll leave the gold. So, or silicon. And you know what? My diamond supply is getting a bit low. Well, I don't really have it set up for that, so I'll worry about that later. Uh, auto-eject on... Should be able to just position this here. Now this is three by three, so it's not really gonna matter where I put it. Uh, let's just make sure this is set to send. Send items. Pretty good. Go. Cool. So now if I go back, now I just realized. The silicon's going to end up in the strong box. I changed that to a strong box for a very good reason. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but the thing about strong boxes is that you can open them. That, that's not very descriptive. Uh, what is going on here? This isn't moving because the dust is in here, which means that something in here is not set up right. Oops, not oh, what I meant to do. Stop. Uh, input. Items. Silicon. Gone? Raw oh, silicon. And you can pull those out of the strong box as well. Um, what is this one? I really should have put these in, like, subcategories or something. Okay, that's pulling that out of there. Why are you disabled? That's odd. That resolve that. <sighs> Auto-eject items. and disable this. This should prevent complications. I hope. And then the... Ah, uh, yes, yes, good. The raw silicon is now ending up in my network. So then while I'm looking at Galacticraft, other things I'm going to need are... I feel like there's things missing here. Interesting. Why does it seem like only the blocks are showing on this? Uh, yeah. Weird. And that's part of Mars. Interesting. As well. But there's really... There's supposed to be... 
things in here. There we go, that's better. Oh, oh. Okay. So, things I'm going to need are an oxygen mask, which is mostly simple. Now, I'm not going to be able to go there. That is not what I meant to do. I'm not going to be able to go there today. In fact, I'm probably not going to be able to get this entire set going because I'm pretty sure that I need to get other things such as the compressed items so an oxygen compressor uh, I want well I need a regular compressor to make an oxygen compressor I believe right something like that I'll probably have to look more carefully but I do know, oh no, 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 I need a basic wafer which is made in a circuit fabricator, which is made with stuff. I have not the right type of aluminum going on here, but oh well. Eighteen aluminum wire. Oops. Circuit fabricator. Buttons. Redstone torch. Furnace. It's gonna complain about not having the right type of aluminum. I'm sure. It's also. And it doesn't care about the aluminum. But it is complaining about not having a lever. You know what? Screw it. I can solve this the easy way, partly considering this is pointless now. If you know what I mean. Import. This should resolve my issue then. Where's that? Where's my redstone torch? What's going on here? Why was I not given a redstone torch? Oh, it was. Its interface just did what it does and not update very well. I see. Um. Hmm. Temporary power tap. Is this even going to work? Probably need to rotate it. Oh. Aha! That seems to have functioned. Okay, so. In order to make a compressor, yeah, the electric compressor requires plates. So in order to make a compressor, see, I need a diamond, I need redstone, I need a redstone torch, and two silicon. Let me through the door. I did not mean to make two of these. Apparently I just accidentally tried to craft ten of those or something. Which didn't work. What am I doing in here? Okay, so silicon, silicon. Diamond. Redstone. Redstone torch. So then this should get me a wafer. So then I can make this. I should have an anvil floating around somewhere. Cool, I get three of those. Wonderful. Now, I'm absolutely 100% sure this is going to complain about not having... Yes, yes, but of course. And I need to properly convert this at some point, but what am I going to do? And copper. 
Oops. That is not at all what I meant to do. And go. Go? Hooray! Compressor! Now, this is powered off of not electric, because it's not the electric compressor, which is unfortunate. Let me guess. I need to rotate you. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I just said that. This is not powered off of power. So I'll put that there. And this will require fuel, and then it will require plates. Now, I want to make the electric compressor, since I have basically infinite power at this point. Which means I need compressed iron, coal, and wood. Interesting. Compressed iron is made with two iron... Oh, that's fuel. Okay. You know what? Let's just order it. Well, they're not right next to each other, but it should still work fine then, I guess. So then this is going to take time, unfortunately. Press bronze. Pretty simple. I have some bronze, actually. I really kind of want to get this going. At some point, I want to get the compressed one going before we finish here, but I'm not sure how plausible that really is. Oh, got a sneeze. Oh, oh, it went away. Ugh. So I'm not sure how long this coal coke is going to fuel this for, but... Hopefully it's long enough. Advanced wafer, what do I need? Two more silicon and a repeater? And I'm also going to need the... Uh, such a pain! Diamond. Redstone. Of course, there's no repeater. There's only a comparator. Uh, electric compressor. This, this. Import. Repeater. Go. Waiting. Wait, okay, there we go. And then two pieces of silicon. Let's hope this is enough. Oops. Crap. So, silicon, diamond, redstone, repeater. What are you doing? Are you done? You appear to be done. Those, those. So, what does the electric compressor take? Yeah, pretty simple, actually. Wow, I only get one advanced wafer from that. I feel a bit cheated, to be honest. Okay, so, electric compressor. Yes, yes, for compressed steel. I expected that much, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything else. Okay. Uh, uh, let me in. And go. Hooray! I have an electric compressor. We'll be to the moon one day. And then Mars some other day. Cool. Now if I just get that iron that I just got rid of.
Not sure if there's any way to make this any faster, unfortunately, but... Eh, what can you do? Oh, the electric compressor can do two things at once. That's handy. I was not aware of this. So let's just take a quick look at what the... Oh, that's the creative rocket. So it needs heavy-duty plates for pretty much everything, and they're made from bronze, aluminum, and steel. And that gets one. That's going to be painful. I suppose I'll work on this, although I've been playing a lot of ESO, trying to get to veteran rank 10 on it. So, I've been a bit absorbed. So, as you're making the rod, the launch pad, buggy seat, buggy storage box. Hmm. See. Well, I'm going to need more coal. But I'm going to call this good for now. Hopefully, it's not too short or too long. The last one was actually pretty well timed, I would have to say. And, uh, probably going to change the oak trees outside of my house as well. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.